I'm Marty, and I live in a rural Wisconsin village that voted 60% for President Trump in 2016. I support conservative policies and I hold conservative values. And those policies and values used to also be those of the Republican Party. And so I volunteered with and contributed to and voted for Republicans. But I will no longer support the Republican Party because it has deviated so far away from the things that I believe in. For instance, I believe that the role of government should be to do and to do well only those things which are critical to society and which cannot be done by private individuals or organizations. That then should lead to small but competent government, reasonable taxes, limited deficits, and responsible debt. But instead of competency, government today is run by third-rate hacks and grifters on a revolving door of cronyism and conflict of interest. The deficit has more than doubled since 2015, and we are saddling our grandchildren with massive amounts of debt. And that's before taking into account the new coronavirus spending. I also believe in investing in our children's future. But here in Wisconsin, out of the 50 states, we rank number 40 in K-12 education funding, number 37 in entrepreneurship, number 42 in keeping people in our state. We are at the bottom of the pack, and our young families realize that, and they're moving elsewhere. I believe that strong alliances and an effective non-political military are key to our national security. But today our government is spurning our closest allies, embracing our adversaries, and politicizing our military. I believe in incremental progress based on data and on debate and sometimes on compromise. But today our government disregards expertise and science and policies seem to shift daily based on personal whims. I believe in fairness Everybody should have access to the same opportunities and everybody has to play by the same rules. But today, Republicans cheat to win elections in so many ways that I could list. I believe in personal responsibility. But here in Wisconsin, our districts are so badly gerrymandered that we citizens cannot hold our elected representatives accountable for their failure to act to resolve issues that matter to us. Instead of legislators, we have litigators. And finally, I believe in respect and tolerance and civility. But today, the game plan of the Republican Party is very clearly to sow division and hatred. And that is tearing apart the fabric of our society. So the Republican Party no longer pursues policies that I believe in. It has shamefully abandoned its principles and values. It has lost its moral compass. And so I will not provide my volunteer effort my financial support, or my vote to any Republican candidate in 2020. I don't care whether it's Donald Trump for president or my own brother for dog catcher. If the candidate is a Republican, then not a dime and not a vote. My hope is that they take a serious beating in 2020 and that that, coming on the heels of the drubbing they already took in 2018, leads to some tiny kernel that may remain of the traditional Republican Party that party of conservative policies and decent values, to try to resurrect what was good about that institution and to finally put an end to this mindless cult of personality.